With temperatures hitting the upper 90s, it left Michael and I searching for some relief. When trying to escape the high temps in Washington, your best bet is to hit the coast, so that's exactly what we did. We scouted many spots, one of them being a riverside spot that had more bugs than I had ever seen in one place. But our backup spot, while not typically what we go for, provided some amazing opportunities to do some nighttime long exposure photography. So it is extremely hot in Washington this weekend. So Michael and I decided to pack up and hit the coast and search for colder weather. There was a riverside spot that we were trying to get to last night. We got there, there were so many bugs. You've seen it at this point. So we had to do a little bit of backtracking. We finally found camp in this little pit. Uh, it's not the most beautiful campsite, but it'll be a perfect spot for us to kind of launch our adventure today so today we're we're just we've been up and down the one on one so many times and every time i drive it there's all these roads off of it that i want to explore that i've never had a chance to explore so that's what we're doing today see what we can find see if we can find some oceanside spots or some river spots i definitely want to hit a river spot because it's it's still warm i'd love to dip in it but uh <clears throat> So that's where we're at. Not a glamorous night one campsite, but uh, today will be a fun day of exploring. So we're gonna finish packing up, hit the road. We did a lot of exploring, but not a lot of filming. The morning mainly consisted of highway time, so we found a spot on the beach and made some lunch as fuel for the next portion of our journey and whatever may lie ahead for us. Ooh, look. There's a grease on here, look.
Oh, oh it gets, it gets so much worse. <laughs> I'm not on my my knees in here. It's I'm afraid of my nips. Let them nip. Oh, oh! 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 <laughs> Honestly, dude, this is feels so good. This is excellent. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shit. This is so oh my god. Why are you moving so much quicker? <laughs> <laughs> So after all day of driving around, trying to find a place to camp, uh, almost every road was a dead end. We saw some cool things along the way, but nothing really noteworthy, nothing to mark on a map and say, hey, we should come back here. But we did stumble upon this riverside spot at the very end of the day. It's like 5.20 now. I guess there's still daylight for some exploring if we, if we chose to, but this is kind of what we've been looking for and this is epic. So took a dip it's been a hot weekend it felt amazing so I think now it's time to just chill enjoy the sights get some steak going here in a little bit and uh, just hang out for the night it's been a long day exploring and uh, just ready to chill so As with our attempt at a riverside spot on night one, the bugs started flooding in and these things were aggressive. So before it could get dark, and even worse, we decided to go searching for another spot so we could find camp prior to the sun setting. We lucked out with a spot right on the beach where we had dinner and just enjoyed the rest of the night. We may have got a bit caught up in conversation and neglected to film, so please don't mind the gap here.
The morning was pretty chill. We did some photography, took our obligatory product shots, and just kind of hung out before we decided to hit the road and work our way back home. The intent was to explore a little bit on the way home. However, it was a repeat of night one. Just dead end after dead end. More often than not lately, it seems like we're hitting more dead ends than usual. But it doesn't take away from the time that you have on the road exploring these new places. Like I've said previously, all of these roadblocks or dead ends are, are necessary. You hit enough of them, you know where not to go and explore different areas, and that's how you find the gems that we come across on occasion. They can't all be perfect, but this is how you get to those perfect ones. That's it for this video. Until the next time, I hope you're able to get off the grid and off the grind, and I'll see you in the next one.